Is plutonium explosive? I imagine. Yeah, because he said he needs a nuclear reaction to get there. So why are they doing this? <laughs> oh my <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Cam. This is Zay, and we are here watching Back to the Future. Now, just to preface, I have never seen this movie before. Zay, you actually have seen this movie before, and you said you do remember most of it. So yeah. there's no need for me to take off my headphones and you to explain what you remember or don't remember. No, I, okay. I wouldn't say so, no. Okay, there are a few things that I'm aware of just because of iconic things about this movie you know that i've heard growing up one of the things is i know there's a car and that's how you time travel it's called a uh the delorean and i know obviously this movie's about time travel i'm aware that you have to reach a certain speed to to time travel and obviously i'm aware that there is an old man and a kid and you know they have a they have some kind of relationship i don't know what that relationship exactly is but also i have heard about the there's this uh a oedipus type of thing going on like this guy uh the kid almost fucks his mom or does fuck his mom i'm not entirely sure of what the outcome is uh i don't think he knows it's his mom uh, but i i don't i don't know for sure about that situation but yeah that's pretty much all i know going into this movie i know a lot of people love it i know there are uh sequels there's a, a two and a three as of right now, we don't have plans on watching the second one and the third one. But if you guys leave a comment down below that you want to see it, perhaps we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get to that at some point. So thank you guys for being here. Again, again, before we get into the movie, if you guys like what you're watching, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe and help us reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year goal. It would be greatly appreciated. We've had that goal for a while now, and we are getting closer to it. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and other various movies, you can check that out on patreon the link for that will be in the description with that being said zay any final thoughts before we get into the movie i'm excited it's been a little minute since i've seen it so uh, i'm ready to get back into it all right yeah let's do it back to the future that's cool all the like all the clocks and everything that's a cool like, yeah. way to set the stage you know definitely a dope way for them to start it off for sure a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. Stock. Hello, anybody home? Hi, Stock. Come here, boy. Wow, Kathleen Kennedy is involved in this too. What? Uh, he stole the plutonium? <laughs> How about the fact that he just kicked a longboard into it like it's not a fucking <laughs> like it's not a hazard? And it's I mean, no, he doesn't. I know he didn't know it was there, but Jesus. Yo, Jimmy Neutron over here might be messing with things that he does. Yeah, I don't know how smart this guy is. Oh my gosh. Please tell me the dog is not in here. I hope there's no one in here. My <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> what did you think was going to happen, dude? That reminds me, Marty. Better not hook up to the amplifier. There's a slight possibility of overload. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Good. I'll see you tonight. Don't forget now. It's so, 15 a.m. Twin Pines Mall. Right. So this is funny because I've seen Rick and Morty, and yeah. I get really big Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty vibes. vibes. That's a funny comparison. Oh I've actually never, never heard yeah. that, and also that's a pretty accurate. I've only seen a little bit of Rick. And I Morty. think Rick and Morty might be like slightly based off these two. Oh, he's cool with it. Re-elect Mayor Goldie Wilson. Mr. Brown is dangerous. He's a real nutcase. If you hang around with him, you're going to end up in big trouble. Oh, yes, sir. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. Oh, man. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. Oh, shit. Can I go now, Mr. Strickland? I noticed your band is on the roster for the dance. Bro, dude, if someone put their hands on me like that, yo. Your old man, no McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. His, no. they fucking nose touched. This dude's way too all up in his shit. Four by four. That is hot. Take that truck up to the lake. 
throw a couple of. What happened to the clock? Wait a minute. Oh, God, underneath the it's stars? fucking destroyed God, underneath what? it. <laughs> I didn't even honestly notice it. <laughs> he said so. When she was a kid. I mean, look. I think the woman was born a nun. Oh, just... it's not destroyed. Those are statues. I'm stupid. Uh, that's what I was like. What? <laughs> I was like, maybe I'm not seeing that correctly. Tase the clock tower. 30 years ago, lightning struck that clock tower, and the clock hasn't run since. We at the Hill Valley Preservation Society. That's gonna come back. Exactly the way it is, as part of our this... history and heritage. Save the clock tower. Don't forget to take. It's a not fire. a tower. Number one. Save it's a clock on a building. <laughs> like let's like, let's get one thing fucking straight here. Uh oh. Perfect. Just perfect. I can't believe you loan me your car without telling me it had a blind spot. I never noticed that uh, the car had any blind spot before Dude, when I all fucking cars have blind spots. Wait, so yeah, you're what's to look behind you when you're turning? I'm fucking confused. Your uh, insurance is gonna pay for the damage. Well, my insurance. Your insurance should pay for. It. I, I want to know who's gonna pay for this. Honestly, I'm a little concerned. He just he said he spilt beer when a car smashed into him. But what the <laughs> fuck? Sorry, I got distracted because the parrot in the back is not moving and it's not in the sleeping position either. <laughs> McFly, your shoes are tied. Oh, don't be so gullible, McFly. <laughs> oh, he's pissing me off, bro. What are you looking at, butthead? Nothing much, fuckface. <laughs> Say hi to your mom for me. You said say hi to your mom for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Biff just happens to be my supervisor and I'm afraid I'm just not very good at confrontations. The car, Dad. Dude, the costume designer said how nerdy do you want him to look? And, said, and yes. the director said yes. <laughs> do you have any idea how important this was to me? Do you have any clue? I He's know, got some swag, though. He's, He's got some signed. swag. Yeah. Dad, not so much. Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. Oh, no. <sighs> Shh, you damn <laughs> Uncle Jailbird Joey? He's your brother, Mom. She's lucky that fucking cake didn't explode over everybody's face. Fucking. We all make mistakes in life, children. God damn it. I'm like... This family's something, bro. Girls chasing boys. When I was your age, I never Velma? chased a boy or called a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Like the way I met your father. That was so stupid. Grandpa hit him with the car. It was meant to be. Anyway. <laughs> then none of you would have been born. Yeah, well. Still don't understand what dad was doing. I don't know. I you feel almost like grandpa <laughs> hitting, hitting him almost resulted in you not being born. <laughs> Our first date. I'll never forget it. It was the night of that terrible thunderstorm. Remember, George? Father kissed me for the very first time on that dance floor. It was then that I realized I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. If it didn't go that way, well, yeah, you spend the rest of your life paying for him. <laughs> well, she looks like she's thrilled, by the way. She pours a cup of vodka and sits down at the table. <laughs> yeah, that was the face of a woman that is proud about her decisions, for sure. Oh, shit. All right. Out of time, the license plate says. That's cool. Party. You made it. Yeah. Welcome to my latest experiment. This, this is, is definitely based. Rick and Morty life. is definitely based off this. It's gotta be. <laughs> Wait, what are they doing? I don't know, but I wouldn't put the dog. I wouldn't necessarily bring the dog along. <laughs> I don't think they're bringing him along. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god like it's an RC. Car. Why would they be cool with doing that to their fucking dog? When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Yeah, it's gonna be all over the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Fuck, dude, what, what, what is happening? What, Why what are you. you this dude's insane! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a cool effect. Uh, <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? He almost lit me on fire! <laughs> they did it though. <laughs> the fucking dog. There's fucking dinosaurs all around me! <laughs> Look out! Jesus! 
Jesus Christ! I wait till then, yo! You should have just moved out of the way! Oh, it worked! Yeah, it worked! Oh, please. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nah, y'all risked it, though. Exactly one minute behind mine, it's still ticking! Yeah, wow. Okay. The dog's like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Here's a red letter date in the history of science. November 5th, 1955. Of course, November 5th, 1955. Isn't this man like Insane? the fucking poster child of Stranger Danger? Like, yeah. how do you, how did this kid and this guy like become friends? <laughs> they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Who, 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 cops? Who? FBI, aliens, the the Libyans. The Libyans. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Shit, it really fucking is. Oh my gosh! Oh, they've got him. He's out of ammo. Count your shots, pussy. No, oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe he's not out of ammo. Oh <laughs> shit! What the fuck? I miscounted my shots. What? Yo! Think. Oh, he's got to be wearing a bulletproof vest. Yo, what about Einstein? All right, just don't hit 88. Oh, yeah, for real. Oh, whew. Is plutonium explosive? I imagine. Yeah, because he said he needs a nuclear reaction to so why are they doing this? No, wait, no. don't you remember the speed what limit? The, fuck? the speed, remember. Well He's going to 1955? Yep. Oh shit. Oh ah! He did it! All right. Oh, oh shit. The, that's, the clock is gonna get struck by lightning because he's 30 years in the past. Oh yeah. The fucking clock. Oh yeah, look, the time's different. Isn't it? Um, are those pogo shoes? Okay. Dude, he sticks out like a sore thumb. People are probably like, ew, what's this kid wearing? <laughs> That's gotta be so trippy. All right. If you believe in progress, re-elect Mayor Red Thomas. Progress is his middle name. Mayor oh Red Thomas is progress. Hey, they said that for the other guy. Progress is his middle name. Well, if anything else wasn't confirming it, that sure did. <laughs> That's fuck yeah. If he wasn't sure, I think that we got it. <laughs> like, Oh shit! He's oh shit! Biff. Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bunk. Oh, hey, Biff. Hey. What? Well, actually, I figured since it wasn't due till Monday. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Yo, oh, not okay, bro. That not hurts. okay. I felt that. You realize what would happen if I hand in my homework and your handwriting? I'll get kicked yeah, you out of school. Yeah, you dumbass. Yeah, good. Do you realize what happens? He becomes your supervisor, McFly. Don't give him the fucking homework. <laughs> what are you looking at, butthead? Hey, Biff, get over this guy's life preserver. Oh, fuck face. Yeah, run it back again. <laughs> what? You're George McFly. Say, what do you let those boys push you around like that for? Well, they're bigger than me. Stand tall, boy. Have some respect for yourself. Facts. People walk over you now, they'll be walking Bars. over you for the rest of your life. Look at me. You think yeah, don't look at him like he's fucking stupid. Yeah. And one day I'm gonna be somebody. That's right, he's gonna be mayor. Yeah, I'm gonna... Mayor. With that tooth, I like it. Idea. Dude, he's fucking affecting the timeline. Yeah, he's fucking it up already. No, I think he's setting it. <laughs> Probably. Like, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, because technically time travel is possible, so he could well, be setting it. He's saying that... You should be. He just suggested him to become mayor, and he eventually becomes mayor. 
Right. I think it's like a he's it already happened type of situation. That's what's so crazy about time travel and movies is once once it's available, it's like you can never. T- it's so hard to tell. Like, wait, was this set or like was the future set because you did something or was? Well, it- it's like different in some movies, but like yeah. for this one, it definitely seems to be like a loop. What the fuck is he doing, pervert? <laughs> Get- peeping Tom over here, or shimmying up a fucking tree. He's a peeping Tom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh Wait, my okay, god. Okay, now that's an in that's a complete paradox. Like that's a that's inconsistent. Hey, wait. Wait a minute. Who are you? Another one of these damn kids jumped in front of my car. Oh my gosh. Another one? I'm starting to see how the fucking the mother might come into all of this. I love how the dad goes, another one jumped in front of my car, <laughs> sir. <laughs> you're my mom. You're my mom. My name is Wait. Lorraine. Wait, so he knows? You're so, uh, you're so uh, thin. Don't say it. Just relax, okay. Calvin. You've got a big bruise on your head. It's very nervous. <laughs> she is fire, though. <laughs> I've never seen purple underwear before, Calvin. Oh, he's the Hulk. Keep calling me Calvin. Well, that is your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein? It's written all over your underwear. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Pleased to meet you, Calvin. Where are you? Okay. Oh, okay. No, I oh. just said... <laughs> Who's you have there? <laughs> so you're my Uncle Joey. Gotta get used to these bars, kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! The mom's like, um, can you stop shit talking my son? <laughs> hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. This is uh, where Ralph dresses up as a man from space. What do you mean you've seen this? It's brand new. Yeah, well, I saw it on a rerun. Mm. Oh, I'm, ge- I'm getting anxious every time. You look so familiar to me. Do I know your mother? Yes. Yeah, she's right here. <laughs> Don't you think you ought to spend the night? I mean, after all, Dad almost killed him with the car. That's no. true, No, Mark. no. He can sleep in my room. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Thanks for- <laughs> she did have a hand on his leg. Quiet. I'm gonna read your thoughts. Let's see now. What? <laughs> You want me to buy a subscription to the Saturday Evening Post? No! <laughs> you want me to make a donation to the Coast Guard Youth Auxiliary? Doc. <laughs> I came here in a time machine that you invented. Do you know what this means? It means, yeah, it means that like... this damn thing doesn't work at all! <laughs> this is it! This is the answer! Yes. It says he- yes, that's why I gave it to you. The lightning is going to strike the clock tower precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night. He acts like I do when I don't get sleep. <laughs> next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. Hey! Just as I thought. This proves my theory. Look at your brother. His head's gone. Uh, he's headless. Horseman. Raced. Erased from existence. Okay, so, so it alters the future. Yeah, so the the past is already written, but he, he can go back and basically alter it. Fuck it up. That that brings in the grandfather paradox. It's like if he alters the future, I guess he hasn't altered it enough for him to not go back and do what he's doing. Because I mean, right. if he had no brother, he'd have a different life event, so he wouldn't come back. And so maybe like it, I don't know. We'll see. I get what you're saying with the grandfather paradox, though. I have been looking all over for you. You remember me? The guy who saved your life the other day? Oh, yeah, good. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. Lorraine? Oh, the dance. Calvin! I'm like not you. Calvin. Bro, she just fucking Hi. passed out. It's really a pleasure to meet you. Oh, oh boy. Oh, good. Fine. That just made me cringe. Ran off the other night. Are you okay? Oh, it's 
Oh my gosh. No one's worried about the dude that looks like he's on a Hawaiian vacation but has a lab coat. Honestly, on. I'm not gonna lie. I went into this thinking he wanted to fuck her, and I am fucking surprised and shit that it's her that wants to fuck him. They're your parents, you must know them. What are their common interests? What do they like to do together? <laughs> Mom likes vodka. There's a rhythmic sound <laughs> like TV shows. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Supposed to go to this. That's where they kiss for the first time. All right, kid. Yep. Remember that girl I introduced you to, Lorraine? Don't look at her, Calvin. What are you writing? Science fiction stories about uh, visitors coming down to Earth from other planets. Okay. Cool. cool. I never, I never <laughs> let anybody read my stories. What if they didn't like them? What if they told me I was no good? Then you fucking either take the criticism or tell them to fuck off. She wants you to ask her to the enchantment under the sea dance. Really? Oh, yeah. All you gotta do... You need to lay the groundwork for this. What, right here, right now in the cafeteria? What if she said no? I don't know if I could take that kind of a rejection. I, he's got an issue with uh, rejection. Yeah. Whether it's his work or with girls, I guess. Yeah. Beth. Oh yeah, she looks like gosh. she's really a fan. You want me to give it to you? Such a I'm not that kind of girl. Yeah, that's right. Maybe you are, and you just don't know it yet. Yo, dude, you bro. She said, "Get your meat hooks." Yeah, kick his ass. Ah, please. It's a lot. Of <laughs> That's like, and now you're gonna look like a fucking good. You're gonna look like the guy in front of her. Since you're new here, uh, I'm gonna cut you a break. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here, buddy? Uh, <laughs> trees can't. <laughs> Isn't right. it make like a tree and leave? <laughs> like, yeah. If anything. Who are you? Just take them off. There are headphones. My name is Darth Vader. <laughs> I am an extraterrestrial from the planet Vulcan. Fucking? Vulcan. I think he meant to say Vulcan, oh, Vulcan. like, yeah. <laughs> but fucking is way funnier. I have to ask Lorena, but I don't know how to do it. All right, okay, listen, keep your pants on. She's over in the cafe. God, honey. Yeah, you don't look like you're in the best. Okay, no. nice little flex. Yeah. came down from planet Vulcan and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. Yeah, well, uh, let's, let's just keep this brain melted. Yeah, you definitely slept. No. Yeah. <laughs> he just said, like, well, fucking wink. That boy was sitting there. Tell her destiny brought you together. Tell her that she is the most beautiful girl you've ever seen in the world. Girls like that stuff. Don't put it on a note. <laughs> you don't. Touch. I'm writing this stuff. It's like writing on your hand. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's go. Oh, Imagine oh. he reads this and he's like, Calvin at the yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> destiny uh, brought us together. <laughs> From Calvin. Fuck! <laughs> Calvin said it! <laughs> Lorraine, my density uh, has brought me to you. What? Density? What I meant to say was... Wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yes. Oh. Yes. No, why did you go inside? You. George McFly, I'm your density, your destiny. Oh my gosh. And you're flying! Oh, for fuck's sakes. I thought I told Jukebox you never to come in here. How much money you got on you? Well, how much you want? <laughs> the fucking kid on the side! The fuck Bro, did I, I would have fucked somebody up if they just pushed me for no reason. Alright, punk. Now I'm whoa, gonna... whoa, Biff. What's that? Yeah, get him! Hey! Nice. Go! Go, go, go! Oh! Three for one! <laughs> They're hauling ass out of Converse. Oh. 
Oh, that was cool. I had a thing under my skateboard when I was in middle school that would spark, so would spark when you could it. That's pretty dope. Oh no. Hey! Nice. Was he gonna run the people over? I mean, he's on the sidewalk. Yo, he's out for blood. I'm gonna ram. What are you? What are you? <laughs> oh, you should have stepped on the head. That was pretty cool. Literally. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. <clears throat> yeah, it's so fucking gross though. No, stop looking at him. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch. Thirty years in the future. But I'm gonna find out. Dude, no. she's fucking no. Mike. She's swooning over him. It's your mom. She's trapped it down. Let's cover the time. How the fuck? Yo, she's fiending. She belongs she's... in the FBI, bro. <laughs> that tracking is insane. He took off. When <laughs> is Marty here? <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I was kind of Giving wondering that look before I'm like oh. <laughs> if you'd ask me to the enchantment under the sea dance on Saturday. Oh my gosh. I mean nobody's asked you? No. Not yet. You can ask someone to ask you to bring you. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> George McFly? Yeah. He's kind of cute and all, but I... really cute. I think a man should be strong. <laughs> mm. for... You're taking me. <laughs> Look at Doc, I'm like gonna pass out. <laughs> I still don't understand. How am Dude, I supposed to go to the dance with her if she's already going to the dance with you? Because George, she wants to go with you. This is a much bigger issue than I thought it was going to be going into this movie. I thought it was gonna be like one fucking scene. <laughs> He's like, here's the plan. I'm not gonna go. I'm just gonna hide at home. Door gets kicked in. Marty! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the door gets kicked in. The fucking hole goes through it in her face. <laughs> Mar Marty! <laughs> You're not dressed, Marty! It's like, please. <laughs> right around 9 o'clock, she's gonna get very angry with me. Why is she gonna get angry with you? Nice girls get angry when uh, guys take advantage of them. What does that mean? You mean you're gonna go touch her on her? No, no, George. <laughs> George, <laughs> that's for a lot of reasons I can't do that. You punch me in the stomach, I'm out for the count, right? And you and Lorraine live <laughs> happily ever after. She's gonna be like, Calvin, no! <laughs> <laughs> you hurt him. <laughs> he picks him up over her head. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the shit. About the future. No, Marty. We've already agreed that having information about the future could be extremely dangerous. <coughs> Whatever you've got to tell me, I'll find out through the natural course of time. Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> my terrorists, please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. Your friend. Yeah, you didn't get the message, Marty. Yeah. This he is just, nice, but this he is just the same said he doesn't as... want to know. You oh, okay. We're assholes. <laughs> it yeah, says I don't open until 1985. All right, so we're just fucking assholes. <laughs> you mind if we park for a while? That's a great Honestly, idea. You did park. Almost 18 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. What? Is that a thing? Was that a quote? Is that a I'm so nervous? Thing? Is something wrong? No. No. Very. Something is very wrong. <laughs> Why is she looking around like that? Oh my god! Fuck <laughs> her up. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, she has no. a dress on. I was about to. Say, I was like, fuck. Oh no. Why are your eyes open? <laughs> Look at his face! But when I 
kiss you. It's like I'm kissing my brother. Eh, close enough. Eh. Believe me. It makes perfect sense. Bro, my arm would have broken the fucking window and I would have busted out of there. Well, that's not who's supposed to be out there. Okay, this is literally like this is borderline sexual assault. Well, go on, this ain't no peep show. Okay, yeah, so this is sexual assault. It is just a per. per it is a hundred percent sexual assault. <laughs> That's what messing up. Oh, and kidnapping. Oh, great. What are you doing in my car? Hey, beat it, spook. This don't concern you. Spook? Oh yeah, you're gonna get fucked up for saying that. Spook, That's oh. crazy. <laughs> Look, I don't want to mess with no reefer addicts, okay? Get home, be a model, right? Bro! What the fuck? Bro! Come here, don't look at your keys. Hey, the keys are in the... I was fucking... Dude. Bro, is she getting raped? Hey, you. Get your damn hands off. Oh. <laughs> 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 fucking Decker. Deck him. I said deck her. My bad. No, Biff. You leave her alone. You're asking for it. And now you're gonna get it. Why didn't you go for the face? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't really... <laughs> Punch him. <laughs> Fucking deck him. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Send him McFlyin'. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Yo! Lorraine better give him some. You, get over here. <laughs> I want him. I want him. <laughs> Bring me them both. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, isn't this great? Instead of her rescuing him, now he rescued her. Yeah. Maybe she's not an alcoholic when we get back. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I wonder if the love story changes that they tell. Well, I mean, it did. Right. But, like, I wonder if, like, we'll see. Yeah, that's just, like... Lovers out there. Earth Angel. Angel. Great song. Scram, fly. Cutting in. Are you fucking? Did Yo, you just really? let this little fuck? You just punched Biff, bro. Bro, if you don't, ooh, if you don't, you don't take ass, this man by the neck and fucking choke slam him. Oh no! Oh, shoot! You better not let other people see that. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's it's so fucking important. Biff comes back. <laughs> hey! Hey! All right! Hey, let's go. Brother's a little bit old for that shirt, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is an oldie. Well, it's an oldie where I come from. Oh, boy. Oh, he's going to be the one that, like, makes the hit. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? I love how he just walked into that bitch and told them how to do it. They're like... <laughs> These guys are like, ah, I like this. Oh shit, he's hey. singing this? Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny. <laughs> Change the way they're dancing completely. <laughs> People are sliding on their legs, flipping around. Sheesh. They're like lost right now. They're like, I don't know how to keep up with this. Okay, all right. All right. Careful now. You don't want to uh, hit a big wave in that showboat of yours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there you hey, go. that's my fucking.
fucking amplifier. <laughs> Smashes the guitar. I paid a lot of money for that. Yeah. All right. Get out of there, buddy. Oh, I guess he didn't you like it. Ready for that yet? But your kids are gonna love it. I think they liked the song. <laughs> I just think they thought that that riff at the end was a little much. <laughs> Oh shit. To accept the responsibility. In that case, I'll tell you straight up. Oh no, oh no. Thanks, Mar Marty. Oh my. It's coming. I have to tell you about the future. Oh, oh, Marty, can shit. you just let him do the shit? Marty, <laughs> for fuck's sakes. He's gonna get him killed. Yeah, the future won't matter. Yeah. Look at the time. You got less than four minutes. Please. Yeah, you gotta go. He wrote start here <laughs> on the pavement. He wrote start here. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. You have to tear up that yeah. letter. We have more time. No, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you? All the time I want, I got a time machine. I can just go back early and warn him. Oh, no! Ten minutes I do it. Okay, so what, you're gonna just keep doing this? <laughs> oh, nice catch. Please don't tell me. It's gonna go through him. <laughs> He's putting a lot of faith in that why. Uh, er... It wouldn't even work, would it? Oh, no. Oh, okay, he's get got it, it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, thank for fucking lord. Are you joking me? Oh, oh. my god. That is frustrating. Okay, come on. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a completely justifiable reaction. That fucking yeah. scream. <laughs> ah! Poke over the clock. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Oh, lightning doesn't move that slow, but that worked for me. We got the gigawatts, baby. Nice. Wow. That's crazy. They did it. But did he go back in time again? <laughs> or did he go to... Well, he went 10 minutes uh, uh, back right. from 1980. Like, he went 1985 still, but... Oh uh, no! Still late. We had a time machine. You want to go 15 minutes back? Yep. There is another version of himself. Oh, okay. So he's gonna. This version's gonna go back in time, and then this version's gonna save the doc, and then this version is gonna be the new Marty because it's the same one that went back in time. This version was there the whole time in the future. Oh, it, so this is like kind of like a loop here. Yep, and now that Mor Marty leads into the Marty we're watching right now. He's not bleeding. Mm. But that could be because this movie came out in 1985. Oh, or maybe not! Mm. Einstein's like, all right, I've seen it all. <laughs> Einstein's like, I'm done. I just saw him teleport. Now he he's did back. have a bulletproof vest on. <laughs> but wow, those bullets are big. I, I, I never got a chance to tell you. They are flattened. 
Oh, did he tape the letter back together? He did. Wow. There you go. About all that talk about screwing up future events, the space-time continuum. Well, I figured. What the hell? Yeah, but that's kind of ballsy to say because you that everyone else is still involved. <laughs> I figured fuck it. <laughs> I did time travel, Marty. Well, if Paul calls me, tell him I'm working at the boutique late tonight. Mom's like, <laughs> Marty, you look different. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey. What the oh, hell is wow. this? Yeah, what what are you wearing, Dave? Marty, I always wear a suit to the office. Oh, oh, oh rematch. Why? Were you cheating? <laughs> no. Hello. Good morning. Oh. Wow, she actually looks like must be the hair doing shit. But... Uh, yeah. Well, aren't you going up to the lake tonight? You've been planning it for two weeks. Car's wrecked. 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 When the hell did this happen? And why... Oh, you uh, dumb motherfucker. Because he's not. <laughs> Bro, no. The first time I. Biff out there waxing her right now. Ah. <laughs> I want to make sure that we get two coats of wax this time, not just one. Don't con me. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. McFly. I, I meant I was just starting on the second coat. <coughs> F, what a character. Always trying Why do you hire him if he's not if he's trying to con you? Well, I guess I he don't... just likes to because he was a bully. I just like that. I get like the stunnedness, but I would have put it together once I started noticing everyone looks different. The house is different, like, don't be shocked. I think it's still got to be kind of shocking, though. Yeah, but to be like, we've talked about this. I'm not going to that. I would be like, oh, the lake. It's a book he wrote. You can accomplish anything. Oh, Marty. Marty, here's your keys. You're all waxed up, ready for tonight. What you? What are you driving? Oh! Remember, he said one day yeah. in the beginning. Oh, you a sight for sore eyes kind of weird because my mom's name is jennifer so it's like what the fuck is happening <laughs> That's something. it's fu it's fucking einstein <laughs> Just... you've got to come back with me where oh shit to the future oh shit what happens to us in the future we become assholes or something? No, 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 Marty. Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids. Why? What happens? They become the next Hitler or something? What the fuck? <laughs> Give us some context. I don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. You got to explain that. Oh, shit. He's like, I just got home. How wow. That's crazy. What an ending. All right. Let me just double check. I don't think there's going to be post credit scenes. Shouldn't be. That was Back to the Future. If Oh, my gosh. Before we get into it, if you guys liked what you were watching, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more and help us reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year goal. And if you want to watch a full-length reaction to this, various other movies, you can check that out on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description. What a fun movie like this Very. movie the best way i can explain it is fun like this is just oh, yeah. a really fun movie it's nice because the last two movies we reacted to were very serious yeah uh, and this was a nice break from that this was like a really funny fun I, I don't i think it would be described as like an action comedy maybe something yeah along those lines yeah i'd say so but it was definitely extremely enjoyable. I really like this movie. I love to get it like get a view into the 80s. I thought for an 80s movie, this was extremely well done. This is the oldest thing we've ever reacted to on our channel. So yeah, I, I will say I am most impressed by the makeup in this movie. Like the uh, apparently these actors were all the same, the ones from the past and the future. So to be able to see like the old versions and the young versions and, and mm -hmm. how they made them look different, almost unrecognizable Yeah, at, at such like an early time, like in the eighties, it, it's pretty incredible. Like I was for you to question it. I mean, you question, right. you're like, are these, these are the same actors. Yeah. They did amazing in the costume design, 
You know, yeah. like you said, very, very fun movie. Um, very cool take on time travel, you know, very unique, not yeah. anything most people would see. And, uh, I would say one of the, I'd argue it's a, one of the best endings that let for like leading into a sequel. Like they, they yeah, I mean, very that's clean. Like a Marvel, like a, the, a post credit scene for Marvel, just like at the end of the movie or yeah. something like they, they really set up the next movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a great ending, even if there was no other sequels, just the fact that. It, yeah. it ended with this like new adventure that they sure. might be going on is really cool. It's also sure. interesting because when watching this, I kind of like felt like maybe you didn't remember everything because there are a lot of moments of commentary that you were providing that like made it seem like you 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 didn't know that that was going to happen or you didn't remember it right or something. Some some parts I didn't remember, but uh, but there part of me was like if I don't if I can't remember it definitively and clearly, uh -huh. I would rather play on the side of. Let's see where this where this heads from here. Gotcha. There were I'll, I'll tell you this. I remember uh, most of the core storyline. I remember a lot of uh -huh. the, but the funniness in the comedy in it. I didn't really remember how funny this movie. Like it, it's really fucking funny. Like just yeah, the, it very very. Uh, I don't know. It's just like a I don't know. Yeah, it's just a good movie to watch. Yeah. Like family and friends. Like what an easy to di to digest. Yeah, constantly keeps you in the loop watching. Like I don't take your eyes off it. It was awesome. Yeah, it's it's really it's a it's a really good like a fun movie. If someone's like, do you what like what's a fun movie that you recommend? I'd be like, Back to the Future. That movie is so fun, and it. I am excited to see the sequels. Uh, if we ever do get to it again, just leave a comment down yeah. below if you want to see us get to the sequels at some point. It, uh, I enjoyed the. I thought the writing was really cool, and I, I, again, the costume design was not only was the makeup really good, like making them look old and young. The costume design was like. I guess this was in the 80s, so they were trying to replicate the 80s, right. but like when they were in the 50s and trying to replicate the 50s and whatnot. Yeah, they I, nailed I'm it. This, no pun intended, but this movie fell out of time. This definitely felt like something that would have been made in the late 90s. And the fact that, you know, the effects and everything they, they, that they pulled off in the 80s is... is yeah, it almost, feels like, it almost felt like a future that was made a little bit like a little bit more in a modern era but what they did is they like layered it in ways to make it feel like that time and no yeah the fact that it was made during that time they did extremely well like i even like you said when they first did the time travel the effect was dope when you see the delorean first start to go back yeah, you know yeah just like i mean like i said the fucking there's a lot of comedy i know we were joking around a lot but this movie is hilarious and i'm sure anyone that's seen it knows like so I so I wonder if, I wonder about this. I think the writing was was like meant to was meant to embrace the the humor and the funniness and kind of the whimsicalness of the movie. Yeah, I don't think it was like silly writing because no. you know they weren't good at writing in the eighties or anything. I think it was meant to be silly. I think the Lebians. I think it was very intended that that was supposed to be silly. I don't think that was supposed to be this like like super like intense part of the plot or something like no. i think they meant for that to be silly i think a lot of this movie was intentionally silly which is something yeah. i really appreciate you know uh, sam sam raimi likes to do like kind of corny or cheesy things and some people might be like oh you know that was corny or cheesy but i think it's different if it's intentionally corny and cheesy and and that's what sam raimi does this isn't a sam raimi movie but sam raimi likes to make his movies have a little bit of corniness or cheesiness to it there's an intention there behind you know, that direction. Yeah. And I felt like with here, there was an intention behind some of the sillier parts. And so I was able to appreciate it as opposed to something that wasn't intended to be silly and came across that way. And they did a very good job with counterbalancing that with, you know, the seriousness of the problem uh, in the movie, right. which is yes. like your existence depends on this. And the like anxiety that I got at certain parts where it's like, holy shit, is he going to get to like, obviously me knowing what happens in the movie but still even watching it again i was like oh fuck like yeah like this the yeah, cord's you, unplugged. yeah and then he unplugs the one end, and i'm like oh the fucking other end comes unplugged. <laughs> i'm like good lord i'm like i'm like watching I'm like he better get his ass over there yeah um, they're really good at at building tension like yeah. with the, with <laughs> the moments with the mother and then also God. with the uh like with the cord scene that was very that built a lot a lot of tension uh the the like letting the doc know about the future that had a yeah. lot of tension to it so i think they did a really good job at and this isn't meant to sound dumb i think they did a really good job at doing what they wanted to do 
It yeah. felt like everything in this movie was very intentionally meant to be this way. And I really appreciate that. And I can totally understand why a movie like this would be such a, a hit. And so it's oh. like, like praised even now to this day, it really holds up. Yeah. And um, you know, the actor, I mean, obviously you got to give credit to the actors as well. They did a fantastic job at making it feel like Michael J. Fox made it feel like he, like you could feel like the, I'm 30 years in the past. He's trying to talk about things and he's like, oh, fuck, I can't talk about that because it doesn't exist. I right. mean, when he goes to play the guitar, oh, this is an oldie. Well, mm, he's like, well, it's an oldie where I'm from. And then on the counterpart, you know, his family and everyone, their amazing acting would like, it made you feel like these people are like, what are you talking Like Even a little kid that's like, this is a new episode. <laughs> he's like, I saw it on a rerun. And he's like, what's a rerun? And you're like, every time something like that happens, you're like, oh my fucking God. It's like, he, he might as well be speaking a different language to these people. Right. They right. don't know about Pepsi free. He's the guy's like, that was a, I thought that was, uh, that was such an easy co joke. I, I'll take a Pepsi free. You get a Pepsi, you got to pay for it. It's like, fucking, I'll take anything without sugar. Another thing oh. I really appreciated about this movie that we don't see much of now is I do kind of like the thingy majigger aspect about this movie, right? So a lot of the science and the, and the machinery is kind of like, it just happened. It just works this way, yeah. right? Like they do have like, oh, it works on plutonium. It detects Ronkins right. and you have to read a certain amount of bucks per hour. But the, the devices like the flux capacitor and and yeah. and kind of like j just these, these thingy majiggers, basically, it gives me a big uh, um, honey, I shrunk your, honey, I Shrunk the Kids vibe. Like where, I don't know if you've seen that movie. I haven't actually. So. Oh, okay, so... I won't get into it, but there's definitely a thingy majigger vibe with that movie too. And I think nowadays we're all like, you know, this does this exactly. And this is, and this, now, and this. you and this. know what? And I, I was going to agree with you. And that's where I was going to make a point too, is that we're at a time where like, especially with movies like Marvel and such, where no, for every, sure. everything has to be explained. And when it doesn't get explained, people get frustrated. They're like, well, what do you mean that? It, but like, I feel like just back then people were just like, oh, let's sit down. What is it? Oh, that's just how it works. Oh, it's just a time traveling device. Yeah. Now, yeah. Our sci-fi movies are so advanced and everything that a movie like this is kind of hard to make unless, you know, and the movies that we see now, they're supposed to just be like, you know, if it's not just like a kid's movie, but, you know, like just fun and has all this stuff. It's like sometimes it almost they almost delve too much into either like a slapstick comedy or too much into goofiness. This had a freaking great balance. Of yeah. Like I we think, had mentioned, I think with um, explaining things like time travel and how machines work and stuff, I think there's like there's a, a either a balance you got to find or you got to like. Here's the problem: if you if you're too much into it, right, mm -hmm. you can run across a lot of contradictions by exactly. setting too many rules. Yeah, but also if you're too vague, people it's are gonna, like, "Well, people are like, well, hold on, you know, hold on okay. now." This movie. It was a little bit more on the vague side, but mm -hmm. it provided enough information like, oh, they're going to be a race. They're going to be this yeah. is kind of like a this loop. device does this. You need this to power it so it can get to this speed. It's, right. It was a very formulaic, but like you said, basic, but yeah. it works. It works yeah. very well for a movie like this. Yeah. And, and I appreciate it with it. Even if the logic isn't completely there, there are some movies where the logic's not there and it takes you yeah. out of it and you just can't have a good time. And there are some movies where the logic's not necessarily there, but you're still having a fun time anyways. I haven't like gone over it in my head a thousand times. So maybe the logic is completely there, but there definitely seems to be some, you know, hold on now. What? But, but it, it didn't yeah. matter to me because I was having such a good time that it's like, I was able to let that go. And yeah. I think that speaks a lot about this movie is that like, Hey, look, maybe if it doesn't completely add up, in, in one way or another, it still adds up in other ways. And I still had a, a fun time watching it, was able to ignore that. So, yeah. So then, you know, because I want to kind of lead into this uh, question as, you know, you being the first time viewer, where would you rate it? What do you think? So, guys, just so you know, we have an out of 10 scale just to make it very uh, clear to you guys. A zero is a, is the worst it can be. A 10 <laughs> is not a number that we give because yeah. a 10 means that it's flawless and there is no movie that exists that's flawless a 10 is meant to be a mythical cap something yeah. that you can't reach which means you certainly can't go past it you can do 9.999 and so on but yeah. to give you guys more perspective for me a five is average right yeah a six is good a seven is great an eight is beyond that 
and a nine is like nines is close to your cinema yeah. basically if it's nine and above it's basically like you know we can't give it a perfect score but holy shit like right uh, it's right. a fantastic amazing movie for me this gets an 8.5 and and again if there's another movie i give an 8.5 or, or or something it might not be for the same reasons because and, and they might not necessarily be it's hard to give it to go on a scale like this because all movies are different and i could give yeah. an 8.5 to like a horror movie as opposed to this movie. And some people might go, well, those aren't the same movies. Or one one is clearly better or one's not. It's kind of like I'm I'm more so just rating my experience with yeah. the movie. How how much of a good time did I have? How much did I enjoy it? I should okay. clarify more than like what this movie is. So for me, I had an 8.5 uh, time, which again is beyond great. So yeah. – uh, yeah, that's where I rate it. How about you? Yeah, um, I probably rate it about, I'd say like an 8 to an 8.25. Mm -hmm. My, Because another thing that I take into account personally for me is rewatchability with movies. Oh, this um, is really so, rewatchable for me personally. Here's the thing. For me, it would need a pretty, I would need a decent buffer in between it. Like okay. A, for me, it is a very, it's because, you know, one of the charming things to me about the movie was that like comedy and stuff and I was enjoying it. Um but I've listened eight for me already seeing it before. There's a lot of movies that I've seen before that I'd give a high, like I, that I wouldn't watch again. Like there's, mm -hmm. this is a definitely, uh, definitely rewatchable. I just need a little bit. I would need a buffer period in between it. By no means is this a bad fucking movie. It's I, right. like I said, top tier. Look, like dude, I, I it's a classic. The, I personally think the Batman, I guys, I gave the Batman a nine just because cinematically that movie was amazing. But I'll tell yeah. you right now, that is not a rewatchable movie. That, that is like a, a one of those movies that is like great the first sitting, but then After, it gets, it's, it's a like, heavy yeah. movie. So, but we're not going to get into that. Yeah, this um, it was just yeah. Like I said, I'm you know everything outside of rewatchability was fantastic, absolutely ridiculous. It's just and like I said, it, for it's very rare that you know with us reacting, we get to sit down to a movie like this where you just like sit down, enjoy it. Yeah. Like not that we don't enjoy the other movies, but they're not like they're usually a lot more dense and heavy. Mm -hmm. You don't really get a lot of there's not a lot of these that do right. it so well, yeah. especially nowadays. So, yeah, yeah, eight to probably 8.25 to be on a safer side, but a fucking great movie. Classic. Yeah. Glad we watched it for sure. Yeah, me too. I, I'm super happy that we watched this movie and I'm super happy. I'm now like you guys who have seen it. And again, yeah. I am looking forward to the sequels if we ever get to them. Uh, yeah. As of right now, again, we don't have that planned. So if it's not the if number two isn't the next movie that comes out, don't freak out if you guys want to see that. We definitely will add it to the list if you guys want us to see it. I've heard way more about this movie than I've ever heard about the sequels. Right. So I have you seen the sequels? I can I can say with a certainty that I haven't, or if I have, I don't remember a lick. That you know, I, there was a lot of the classic scenes that I remembered from this, especially the ending with the car flying. Like I knew, like it would fly out into the frame. I don't think I don't think maybe I saw the beginning of two. I know I haven't seen the other. What there's three, right? You said yeah, yeah. yeah I know I haven't seen three. Two is like a very slim margin, slim chance. But again, I've only really I usually hear about back to the future i never hear about back to the future two and three so right i never i guess really got into watching the rest so all right well again we'll have to see if we get into that or not again yeah. if you guys liked what you were watching leave a like down below subscribe to stay tuned for more and help us reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year goal if you're not already and if you want to watch a full length reaction of this and various other movies you can check it out on patreon the link for that is in the description thank you guys for being here yeah. uh we appreciate the support whether you're a subscriber or a patreon it means so much to have you guys here watching these movies with us and yeah again we'll see you on the next one peace peace